Doctor Who yes. in a new location. Uh, we have since rearranged our uh, studio because we have the whole new... Uh, I've been abducted! Yes. We have the whole new setup and everything now with this two-person setup now with cool little cubbies behind us. Aren't they cool? And there's a TARDIS right there. Look at that. He's got sunglasses on. Um, so and there's, all, there's, some, there's so many cool things <laughs> Don't look. that we haven't been able to like have out on the table that We're wouldn't stand. Look. Like this adipose stuffy right here somewhere. Look yeah. at him. He's so cool. And these cool things. Damn it, his book's in the way. Here's his book. Get them out of here. Didn't see that. They're not dog. There we go. Raggedy man. All right. Cool. So, last time on Doctor Who. There goes my Doctor Who prop. <laughs> last time on Doctor Who, we had Lie of the Land, in which the world had been taken over by them weird zombie alien mummified people, right? The ugly monks? They were monks, yes. Uh, the world had been taken over, and the only person who didn't, who remembered, I guess, and they had changed history. Yes. They added themselves Bill. in every part. Good old Bill. Well, she was having a hard time trying yeah. to remember. And then there was the fake regeneration thing, which I didn't know the doctor could do. And, uh... Good job, Bill! Good job! And Bill managed to hold on to the memories of her mother in order to defeat the broadcast going out to change history. Which yeah. was pretty sweet, so. Bittersweet, yeah. Bitter sweet. Um, yeah, so that's uh we left off. We had a little bit of help from the master, right? Yeah. From Missy. Missy's back. I don't, want, I, don't want, I don't want to say master because the other guys don't know. They think he's dead. Fools. Um <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so that's I think where we left off. There was the virus thing or whatever that they stopped with that fool of a scientist. He was like hung over and stuff, remember? Yeah, but he, he started broke like the every world. Rule, so. End. Uh, that was the episode before that. Oh, that's that was the episode what caused, before? That's, that's what caused Bill that's right. to yes. She's right. make the compromise. She's right. So, yeah, so there's everything. Hey, I remember something. Six, five, the, five, five, five. Three, two, one. Sorry, I could never resist a countdown. Who the hell are you? <laughs> what? Oh snap, what's it going to be? What's it say? A message. Got something. God, God saved, saved the, the queen. queen. How's that there? He put it there. Look at that smile. I didn't see all Impress of Mars. Oh, we're going to Mars. Ooh, we're going to Mars. The red uh, we haven't been to Mars since Waters on Mars, right? Have we been to Mars again since then? I don't remember. Mars, 1881. Or thereabouts. Oh, it's a fire. There's got to be oxygen. Wait, 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 let's not be rash. Okay. I'll go first. What are you doing? <laughs> Fire, oxygen. Basic physics, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be basic death. Oh, no. Like what we played in WoW. <laughs> we just fall down that hole. What? What? What a Nardal? Why did it go by itself? Uh, because Nardal's in there? I don't know. He has like the worst of luck. <laughs> Heavy stomping. Sounds like a Cyberman. I know. Could it be Cyberman? Nah. I love Cyberman. They just said killer robots. What's that? What's that? No, I thought that was What is that? Some kind of lizard armor. You know what yeah. I mean? Like scale. Uh oh, he's getting faster. I bet you he's a good guy. He's, he's the juggernaut. He's the juggernaut. He's a good guy. Hey, wait, just stand by the hole and move. Oh, what's that? That's new. Yeah, it's like from. It's like a, a, a daddy, whatever, big daddy, whatever, from uh, Bioshock. The smaller. Mm -hmm. It's. Oh. Huh? What? This. 
say? An honorary guardian of the Tithonian Hive. Now those are jagged points. Don't move! For the police. I'll sort this beggar out! What the hell's oh, going on? Understand. Jumanji? This creature is no threat. He may look like a monster to you. Oh! Oh, get yeah, the creature! He's back home. Is he mad? Hmm, they won't let him go back. Why won't the Taurus let him go back? Oh no, he's gonna go to him, is he? Ah. Uh, they're stuck there on Mars. He's gonna go get Missy to fly the Taurus, maybe? No. Can he solve I the don't trust her, though. She wants to be good. Hello? That is the question. Hmm. Taurus? What the hell? Now find it's his servant. servant. <laughs> He's an ice warrior. And they're the proper Martians, right? They belong here. Ice warrior. The indigenous species, an ancient reptilian race. They built themselves a sort of biomechanical armor. For they could build a city under the sand. I believe they and died the out fighting the waters of Mars. With oh, well, that makes I think they were original to whole civilizations. I am old and tired and spent. Oh. Whoa. Wow. Sweet Fanny Adams, that's what. Sweet Fanny Adams. Well, Friday promised it's a lot of gamut. Oh. Oh. Broke through the surface? Jacked on. Black old Friday came good after all, eh? Hmm. Uh, is that the Empress? Empress of Mars? What is it? A tomb? Not Seems very toomey. Where's Friday? They should ask him to come in. <laughs> this is the tomb of an ice queen. Mm -hmm. And we can all look forward to. Oh no. What are you putting in the drink? Oh. No, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Oh, snap. Yeah, I love all that. His hand's gonna go. Ah, hand. Like Her hand. It's a woman. Oh, look. Why'd you shoot? Oh. That was it. Whoa! Do you see that? No, 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 A quick death. They will die quickly. Get your man out of here! Come on! Ah. Oh man! He's just like retreat! Armadillo! It's an armadillo gun. Kind of, yeah. And they look like armadillos That's themselves. Right. It makes sense. Listen to me, your only chance is to come to terms. But we have to gargantua. Take the colonel and put him in the brig. Sergeant Major Peach, I gave you an order. Very good, sir. Private. He's so stupid. How does he meet these stupid people? In a couple of hours, you'll be begging for help. Oh. It will take time wow. to revive all my warriors. How many but is perhaps she? enough are awoken to go on the offensive. Are those? Oh man, look at them. Oh, snap. See him in the background? Yeah. Just the silhouettes. Lovely, Sarge. This is one. They're digging up through uh, the ground? I mean, Typical. You just pull across. He's going to be dead. I'm just going to see. Rut row. Like the beehive. There's no way out. Soon all my warriors will wake 
do not require assistance. That's true. And nothing to answer them. Oh, Your Majesty! An eternal winter. Like. Ice warriors. Like frozen. Oh. <laughs> it's a movie. <laughs> you would destroy yourself at the same time. What did you say? That's a price worth paying, isn't it? All good things come to an end. What's I behind think you'll them? Find Captain. Oh, yes. I'm in command here. Oh, in the gut. Wow, okay. And in the service of those you swore to protect. Thank you. And that's all he wanted. I don't know what that means. Hmm. Thank you. But not today. Ah, oh, he's like, dang it! To die in battle is the way Thank you, of the her. warrior. Pledge to the end. I think God saved the queen was to her. Huh. Maybe. So they get to serve as cannon fodder for her. <laughs> so, yeah, what about missing the TARDIS and stuff? What's going on with that? I forgot about it. Yeah. How are you going to get home without it? Who am I speaking? This is Alpha Centauri. Welcome to the universe. Obscure it. Someone's going to notice that. <laughs> God save the queen. Yeah, how they get another planet? Oh, uh, here it is. Okay, is Missy here? Hello. Uh, uh... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her eyes. I love her so much. Oh, are you all right? Oh, are you all right? What did that mean? I don't know. She looked him up and down. Like, is there something wrong with him still? I don't know. I mean, they've made mentions throughout the season about, like, his incoming and stuff like that, it's felt like, which, I mean... I it's the last one we know. Yeah. But maybe there is something else that's leading us towards the, you know, the regeneration. Man, so I, I was just hoping that they procreate, but anyway. <laughs> Stop the end of, you know, the, I mean, the last of the Time Lords, you know? True. <sighs> I, don't know, I don't know how the Time Lords work. That's just because I'm thinking about them. I'm thinking about. David and the Master from back in the day, right? Oh, like David like, Tennant. <laughs> yeah, like it's just like I don't know what happens. What happens if they regenerate in the middle of the pregnancy and turn into a guy? <laughs> what happens then? I don't know. Maybe they do it like um. But if they regenerate, does the baby regenerate? You know, like <laughs> maybe they do it like on Krypton, where like all the babies are inside, like a placenta elsewhere. Same thing like uh um aliens was it? On the alien spaceship, they were traveling with all the embryos inside the um, vault. Like, that's what they were trying to save. Was it aliens? Were there aliens or predators? Or maybe. Wow, okay. So, the, um, the Ice Warriors are from the third Doctor's era. Oh, wow. Right? Okay. And at least it seems to be that. They came, they were a long time ago. But anyway, the neat thing... Alpha Centauri sounded familiar. I didn't know why. Maybe it's not what I was thinking of. But um, the original voice of the Alpha Centauri in the third Doctor stories returned as the voice of Alpha Centauri in this episode, even though she was 25 years into retirement at the age of 92. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay. That's the main thing with it. So I think, I'm pretty sure Ice Warriors were also mentioned in um, Waters to Mars. Yeah, I, I, I feel like they were mentioned because like they went down the one time and they saw this big thing of ice, which is what they were using to melt to get the stuff, and that's where this the bad stuff came from. So they, they got bad filters or ran out of filters, and then the filters didn't fit. 
But I'm pretty sure they were in Waters of Mars, which is kind of cool. Hmm. I don't, it's been so long since I've seen that episode. Yeah. So I don't remember if there is a reference or not. I have to look in Leon's Doctor Who book. <laughs> right. Um, they had a lot of talk about movies and stuff throughout it. But then they also had the whole, like, uh, I have a bad feeling about this, which is known as being like a Star Wars thing that they say a lot. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, Frozen. <laughs> Terminator. The Thing. The Thing. <laughs> they said Vikings. They couldn't have meant the TV show. I don't think. She mentioned an actor and gouging his eye out. Yeah, it might have been a movie, Vikings maybe, or another old, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know. I didn't know who that actor was. So. Um, I was confused about the TARDIS taking off. I wonder, yeah, what's I up with that? Did Missy rig it somehow? I don't know. I'm curious as to why it did that. I mean, we know the TARDIS kind of has a mind of its own and will do mm-hmm. and take you to some places or go, like, it brought Rose back at the end of the first series. Yeah. It's taking people to, like, instead of going to this point in time, they go to this point in time. You know, it's, it's done stuff to help. It's, it's, I, I don't know. I'm not sure why it did that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's letting Missy drive it. Yeah. You know? It's not like other people, like, like, control it before, but I don't know why it did that, and we never got an answer. We just know that he went and got Missy, and Missy was able to get it there. Yeah. So. And that there's something wrong with the doctor. Um, but no, otherwise, like, it was a pretty interesting episode. I hated that catch glove guy. Yeah, from um, the beginning. Yeah. Very finger happy. <laughs> Very finger trigger happy. <laughs> Sorry, okay. There's a difference between finger happy and finger trigger happy, okay? <laughs> Lots of people can be finger happy. Anyone can be finger happy. Um, I don't have too much else to really say. I mean, it was, it was neat. This, I think this is my first time seeing the Ice Warriors, because I don't think I've ever seen them in the Order series. So it's, mm-hmm. it's always going to be cool to have, like, longtime fans of Doctor Who that have seen the older series, seen fans that, or creatures that have come back from the old series and stuff. And, like, awesome looking and stuff, like a garbage can with a yeah. plunger coming out of I it. Say, I'm <laughs> curious what they look like back then. then. Yeah. Because um, I was seeing there, like, Alpha Centauri was from before. Um, from the way it talked, it sounded like the Ice Warriors were from before as well, which... Back during Wars of Mars would have been a fun little like name drop of like, oh, the Ice Warriors. Oh, the Ice Warriors. I remember them. But now like seeing like here's an Ice Warrior. Like I'm curious on like the upgrade. Because like looking at Cybermen, Cybermen have changed so much from Even like when ours. they first came out to like what they are in the you know, in pink with, with this, pink. Yeah. So uh, it's just neat seeing the transitions. And stuff like there was that old Cyberman head in the first season of Doctor Who. Yeah. In the in the thing, with, and from that to what we have now is yeah, that's difference. what I'm saying. Is with Christopher Christopher Eccleston to this. Yeah. It's like a huge difference, but. Um. All right. Um. Anything else? Mars 1881. NASA. I thought it was it's, cool going back to Mars because you know it's always been a theory that Mars has oxygen because it's the rust planet. How do you get rust? It's you know oxidized metal. <laughs> Eric was saying that. So. In very recent news, that they found liquid water on Mars. Oh, I believe it. There has to be oxygen there. At least at one point, there was oxygen. Yeah, it's on just Mars. like they found ice before, but this like apparently they had the first time of finding like liquid. Because so. it's right there on the edge of like the Goldilocks zone, which is the ideal living space in space. <laughs> living space space. So, hmm. it's I always like seeing Mars type things. I'm always like, I know that there's life out there on yeah. Mars. Well, that's what I was thinking. Like whenever we started this, I'm like, have we been there since Waters on Mars? And were we to Mars before that? Like in this whole series of Doctor Who with New Who. I think Waters of Mars is the only time we were on Mars. Like, I remember many other planets we've been to. Like, yeah. there was the one with, like, the devil and stuff inside it. Pompeii. Um, <laughs> Pom- Pompeii was on Earth. <laughs> so, I know. Um, we've been to new, 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 new York. You know? Uh, like, we've been to different places and, and the planets world, and stuff. Wherever. But Mars, I don't feel like we've been to that often. Yeah, I don't remember. So, it's neat to go back to Mars. The thing that's kind of weird is, like, they were at NASA for some reason and then saw the God Save the Queen and went, oh, hmm, let's go see what that's about. And they go back there 
and then they put it there. It's, a, it's like a, boot, a, a bootstrap paradox, right? Where <laughs> yeah. they're seeing what sent them back in time to then make them place it there. So what happened first, them seeing it or them placing it? The chicken or the egg. So very, uh, very interesting. This is one of those time travel kind of conversations that like Eric and I would get into and like spend an hour talking about. But we're not going to do that. No. <laughs> because it's just a bootstrap paradox. Because it's just, it's a loop. It's a loop. You can't, you can't pick. Melanie loves loopies. That's why she likes roller coasters. That's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see next week's episode, uh, make sure you guys check out uh, Patreon and or the website where we have that available. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss. Uh, we have this who going through. We have Tortoise, which we're almost to the end of that. And we also have our other classic new who run through from Eccleston on through. And we're at Matt Smith right now, so check that out as well. We'll see you guys next time. What are you crying?